Hi, I'm Stephanie Ryan, and welcome to my channel. Take a journey of self-discovery with me through painting meditations and mindful painting exercises. These practices are designed to help you connect with your intuition, calm your mind, and alleviate stress and anxiety. If you're looking to dive deeper into this practice, be sure to hit the subscribe button, like us, and ring that magical notification bell. So grab your paintbrushes, let your intuition guide you, and let's paint our way to a more peaceful and centered life together. Welcome to this guided painting exercise. Today, we will intuitively paint how balanced we feel in our four pillars of health, wealth, relationships, and spirituality. Through this activity, we will not only access our current state of balance, but also use our intuition to gain a deeper insight into our well-being. Let me introduce you to the spiritual tools I like to use to support my art practice. This is one way that I like to make art a sacred practice. I love using mantras to guide me through my paintings. Today, I made this simple mantra, I am balanced, to remind me that my goal is to create more balance in my life. When you're finished watching the video, look in the description and see the free gift that I made for you. I'm just going to leave this at the top of my painting so that I can see it and have it serve as a reminder. Next, I selected some crystals and essential oils that are good for balancing. Let's see. I have some rose quartz. Rose quartz is good for promoting self-love and compassion. Citrine is good for attracting abundance and prosperity and to boost creativity and motivation. Amethyst enhances intuition and promotes emotional balance and stress relief. Black tourmaline is a good grounding and balancing stone, and hematite promotes a sense of stability and balance. A good essential oil grounding blend can help you feel more centered and balanced. This one has cedarwood, frankincense, patchouli, and vetiver in it. I like to put it on my pulse points, take a deep breath in, and feel grounded in my body. Okay, so I'm just going to move these over to the side, and I like to keep them next to me throughout my painting process. They're there whenever I need them. I also like to hold them as I'm needing them throughout the painting. So whatever I'm feeling I may need, I'll grab a stone, or I may reapply some essential oil. They're my spiritual creative tools, and I just love having them around. And over here, I have my water bowl, and I have some obsidian in there to clear and charge the water. So I, lo I always like to have clear water by my side. This is my palette, and we're going to keep it really simple. I have some indigo blue and some Payne's gray, and that's all we're going to use for this. If you want to use other colors, it's totally up to you. I have this palette here, it has all different colors on it. You know, you can use your own palette, use your own colors. Remember, there are no rules. We're just here to play, experiment, and have some fun. Okay, so we're going to paint how balanced we feel in our life. So you can use any brush you have. I like to use this round brush. And we're going to paint our cup shapes health, wealth, relationships, and spirituality. I'm just going to start by wetting my brush. We're going to allow our intuition to guide us, and we're going to begin by painting a cup shape and focus on the pillar of health. Health is a crucial pillar of overall well-being, and it encompasses more than just physical health. It also includes mental, emotional, and spiritual health. They are all interconnected and can influence one another. Taking care of our health is essential for overall well-being and happiness. By nurturing all aspects of our health, we can lead more fulfilling and balanced lives. So I just want you to take a moment, take a deep breath in, 
Clear your mind and really focus on how you're feeling here. Are you feeling balanced in your health pillar? Then I want you to just paint a cup. Just put down a line and fill it in with water. This is where your intuition is going to guide you. You can see I'm feeling out of balance with my health pillar. So I'm just filling this in with water. And I'm going to just put some paint on my brush. And I'm really feeling my way through this. I'm just going to start tapping in some color. How do I feel about my health? I'm feeling dense, like I'm putting, putting these dots close together. There's a lot of them. They're feeling, they're feeling out of balance. My cup is tipped. And that's all you need to do. I'm going to put more paint on my brush and I'm just going to put in some darker colors because I really am feeling heavy in this area. So feel your way through your cup. You don't have to put dots. You can put whatever you want in your cup. Then I'm going to just paint a circle at the bottom. Take your time and don't worry about making mistakes. There are no mistakes here and no rules. Next, we're going to paint wealth. Wealth can be viewed as a manifestation of abundance in our lives, not just in terms of material possessions, but also in the form of fulfilling work, financial stability, and a sense of purpose in our careers. How are you feeling here? Are you feeling balanced? Paint where you're at. How are you feeling? Just take a line, fill up your brush with some paint and some water and let your intuition guide you. You can see that I'm feeling slightly out of balance with my wealth. We're all going to be slightly out of balance in different areas, and that's okay. So don't worry about painting where you're at. I'm just going to fill up my cup here with water and just kind of let all this paint go. Don't worry about anything being perfect here. Next, I'm just going to fill it in with some dots. You can fill this in however you want. There are no rules. Just allow your intuition to guide you and identify any imbalances. Visualize yourself taking steps towards achieving greater balance in these areas. You can also stop and write in your journal. Just write out any feelings that are coming up. Okay, I'm just going to put in another circle here at the bottom. Remember, nothing has to be perfect here. Next, we're going to work on relationships. They're another important pillar as human connection is essential for our well-being. Do we have loving and compassionate relationships, both with ourselves and with others? Do we have healthy boundaries with loved ones and other people in our worlds? Take a moment to think about this. Take a deep breath in. Center your energy and paint. By letting my intuition guide me, I painted a straight line. I'm feeling pretty good about my relationships. I'm just going to fill my cup up here with water. Remember that this is a personal and intuitive exercise. Trust your intuition and embrace the process. Your scales, your cups could be all out of balance and that's okay. We are not striving for perfectionism here. Truth and honesty are going to help us the most. So I'm just going to fill in some dots. 
and they're just more spread out. There's more air in there. There's more space. I'm definitely feeling better about this pillar. So just play with your painting. Remember, this is a painting exercise. Our last pillar is spirituality, which can help us connect to our higher power and purpose, whether it be through religious or philosophical beliefs or a sense of connection to nature or the universe. This can provide us a sense of meaning and direction in our life. Take a deep breath in and focus how you feel about your spirituality. And then paint your line. Again, I'm feeling pretty balanced here. It's going to fill in my cup. How are you feeling here? Are you feeling balanced? It's essential to regularly check in with ourselves and assess where we stand in each pillar and make the necessary changes or adjustments to achieve balance. Whether we're thriving in one area or more or struggling in others, it's essential to maintain a growth mindset and work towards achieving balance and well-being in all areas of our life. I know this isn't easy. Believe me, I know. But remember, Balance is not a static state, but a continuous process of adjustment and growth. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please give me a like and subscribe. Be sure to check out the description below for free gift links and to find out more about me and how to make art a sacred practice. Okay, all good things to you, sacred painters. And so it is.